Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. Today is the day. We're gonna be installing 14 speakers in my outdoor living system right here. We're gonna be installing eight speakers on the wall, four rock speakers around the patio, and then we're gonna be doing two burial subwoofers. Now I'm gonna do the best that I can to document this entire process to help you as a consumer kind of realize that you can do this on your own. You don't necessarily have to hire you know, a custom installer to do this. OSD is making this video possible and they wanna make sure that you can have all the resources you need from outdoor speakers to the wiring, to the interconnects, amplifiers, as well as just all of the instructions that you'll need on how to connect that and configure it. So we're gonna be documenting this journey through a series of videos. And so I'll have links to those right up here that you can check out. It'll be a playlist of this entire build process. I've already got two videos I made on this series. One was an introductory looking at all the speakers and the specs and their website and the services that OSD offers. And then I have a second video on what equipment that you'll need. And so at the end of this video, there will be a playlist that you can click on and look at all of those videos. So I'd appreciate it if you're able to do that. And so this is going to be a fun build. So enough talking. Let's go ahead and get to installing. <laughs> All right guys, we got the first subwoofer dug out here. So you can see we dug about 16 inches deep, 16 inches wide, and I think it's about 34 or 36 long. And as you can see here, once we add the sod back on, it's gonna give us barely enough clearance. So I think that's gonna work pretty good. We'll probably have about two inches underneath the mushroom. So first hole's dug. Then we're going to come over here. We decided to move the second subwoofer over here against the house. That'll give a little bit more base reinforcement instead of mounting it right here. So we'll go ahead and get that one dug out. All right, so one thing I've done is I've installed two blades on my edger, and I know they're not kind of the same length, but I installed two blades, and here's my plan is I'm actually going to use my edger to cut my trench for all the cables. We're gonna come out about, about right here where my toe is. As you can see down here, here's where kind of like the footer is for uh, this patio. So we're gonna need to keep it out from there a little distance, but we thought if we do it right through here along the path, then I always know where my cables are. So I'll just follow the path, do my edger all the way over here to where we're gonna go inside the theater room. So let's go ahead and get that edged. All right, so we've got our little trench begun. So you can see I just used the edger for that double blade. We'll come all the way down to here. Then for the second subwoofer, we'll need to come out around this little retaining wall, come all the way over here to where the guys are bearing this second subwoofer over here. So we got the second one in right there by the house. All right, so now what we're gonna do is take this spade shovel. I'll do it from here. So we're gonna go straight down. I think we're gonna go down 
Probably about eight inches. We're gonna try that. Got a marker or a piece of tape. And then what we'll do is we're just gonna kind of work yep. this grass. <laughs> it's all good. So we're gonna take the spade and just go down and just kind of make a little gap here. Just kind of work the grass there. All right guys, so here is the 14 gauge wire. We're gonna connect this to the subwoofer. On this particular cable of the subwoofer, I'm gonna bar this real quick, Daniel. So inside here, there's actually two extra wires, but OSD already cut those. So I looked up, uh, used my own meter just to test it and also confirmed with the company. So we're gonna use this yellow wire for the positive. So we'll connect the yellow to the red and then we'll connect the two blacks. So we're literally just gonna twist them twist these two together like that twist the blacks together and we might need to cut let's go ahead and cut that extra off right there at the tip and then OSD has included these waterproof wire nuts so we're just going to put that right in there all the way through and tighten that down as tight as you can get it. Just like that. And then we'll do the other one the same way. I think that'll be okay. So inside these, they've got silicone because you're gonna get water and moisture down inside this subwoofer. So we're just trying to keep these as dry as possible. Just like that. All right guys, so we have the first subwoofer buried in the ground. We're gonna stop right here because there's gonna be a rock speaker there. So we'll have two wires coming down this trench. One for the subwoofer, one for the rock. And then right down here, we've got the second subwoofer. And then Daniel's gonna end up connecting this subwoofer and the other subwoofer, both of those and they're gonna tie into a single wire and that's gonna go all the way down the trench to the theater room. All right guys, we're on the side of the house. So we have added some electrical tape on each one. So that's gonna be my subwoofer. This is rock speaker number four. Then we've got a green label, rock speaker number three, a white one for rock speaker two and the rock speaker number one here. And so we just pulled extra cable. I wanna make sure I have plenty of, of wire going into the theater room. We've got like 20 feet, so we're totally good. So now what the guys are doing is they're just taking some zip ties. They're pulling all the cables together. We're just making some nice little tidy zip ties there. We're gonna do that all the way down the trench over there. So you can kind of see here and then we're gonna push that down in the ground as far as we can. And here you can see we've got the connectors here. This is what's gonna go be buried down into the ground. And that'll protect the rock speakers when we're weed eating and edging. So it's coming along really nice. So here you can see we've got the trench there that we dug. So that's got the cable speaker wire coming to the rock cable here, the rock speaker, and also the barrel subwoofer. So once we get that done, we'll start working on the four speakers on the left and the four speakers on the right. And one thing we found that works really well is the dirt's gonna definitely fill in some. So we're gonna move this cable out of the way and just take a regular hammer and use the teeth on it to dig down a little bit further. And that makes a nice little trench there. And then that wire can get stuffed pretty good ways down there as far as we need it. All right, guys, the next thing that we have done, I just brought a little two channel amplifier out here just to make it really, really simple. Um, honestly, I'm not as familiar with these here and they, they have a lot of different things that I'm not used to interrupting. You got main, um, so it's not super complicated, but I know this unit and I just need to test to see if we're getting sound to each cable run and we do. So we've tested 
each speaker. And honestly, guys, up front, we're all like going, dang, that's just one speaker playing at a time. Pretty impressive. Not a ton of bottom end, but again, you don't want a lot of bottom end out here because you're gonna, um, you know, disturb your neighbors, I guess. But we've tested all four of these. Both subwoofers work. So we didn't want to bury them and cover them back up and find out, you know, for whatever reason, we have something that's not wired up correctly. So we're gonna get these unhooked, put those back in the trench, get that covered up. Probably grab some lunch real quick. And then we're gonna come over here. And we're gonna drill our first hole through the wall and get the cables run into the theater room. All right, so once you add some dirt in there, just gonna take some kind of stick or the shovel We'll just kind of tamp that in there. Just like that. That just kind of packs the dirt in. You want to get it as tight in there as possible. We just don't want to push down the cable that's on the back of the subwoofer. Looking good. All right, so we got the second subwoofer buried. We're going to take the sod that we pulled out. I'm going to lay it down just to kind of see how it's going to lay. So we're gonna find out how much dirt we need to put underneath it to kind of get it as close to level as we could. Try to preserve the grass, even though it's winter time, it's pretty much almost dead. But the more we can preserve, the less we have to buy to replace. So that's how she's looking. He wants to make so All right, just to show that I'm doing some of the work instead of just filming, I'm going to fill this in here and we'll tamp it down with our feet. All right. Now, Mike, see the, once you finish that, then let us go and then you go, okay, I didn't really do it. <laughs> now the real work. <laughs> okay, now the real work begins and they're going to tamp it down for me. <laughs> All right, so we have the first subwoofer installed here. We've got all of our cables run, rock speaker there with a little PVC protector. Go around the sitting wall here. Got our cables run from those two speakers. There's the rock speaker there, as well as the subwoofer. Rest of the cables are buried. Third rock speaker there. Fourth rock speaker here. And then as you can see, we've got quite a bit of extra cable. I did not want to run out on the inside, so we are good to go. And once again, we've got each one of these color coded. So when we pull them through the wall, we know exactly what cable goes to what. So now what we have to do, we want to try to come in the wall somewhere about right here. But we need to figure out how high to drill the hole from the outside drilling inside. We don't want to drill from the inside out because we don't want to bust that um, stucco out and just have a big mess on the outside. So the thought is we're going to go on the inside and measure from the top of the ceiling down to where we want the hole to be height wise. And we're going to make sure that we are below all the electrical outlets so we don't drill through some electrical cabling there. The other reason we don't want to measure from the bottom up, because if I take a look at my house over here, you can see that there's a step up right here from the foundation. So the last thing we want to do is be drilling into the foundation. So we're going to head on into the theater room and we'll take some measurements. All right, so here we are in the theater room. What we're going to do is measure from the ceiling down to where we need to um, cut a hole through. But in order to do that, we got to get behind a cabinet. Fortunately, my cabinet is pretty easy to get behind. Alexa, speaker lights on. So, oh, golly, that'll go in the video for sure. I got to get new shocks. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, I just banged my head on this. That's hilarious. I forgot, I definitely need to get new shocks because they are kind of sagging, but let's take a look at this. All right, so I want to climb back here and what we decided to do 
is the easiest way to figure out where we're gonna drill the hole from the outside in is to measure the center of the inside of our room. And then we're gonna come over to the left, which is where the trench is, about, what, seven, seven inches? 17. 17 inches. All right, let me grab the tape. All right, so our center is 79 inches, which is pretty close to where this beam right here, if you guys can see. So we need to come over 17 inches from there. So we just wanna make sure that there's no outlets here. And the only thing I have here is a cable box that we don't use. So we should be good to go. There's nothing in the way. So that's just the main thing we wanted to find out. All right, so Daniel's dribbling from the outside in. We're hoping that it's going to appear somewhere about in here. So let's just see. All right, guys, we are probably only half the way through this. We actually drilled right through a solid core cement block. So that's not super fun. So I'm gonna take a break for a second, show you what the guys are doing working on over here. So they've got four of the speakers, at least the brackets installed up here. So we can see they're all lined up really nice. So we're gonna put four of them up there just to kind of take a look, make sure everything looks good before we wire them all up. But we used a little, I say we, they used a little jig wherever it's at, basically to measure from the ceiling down this right here. So we just took a paint stick, measured from the ceiling down to where we wanted each one of those to be. And so that made sure that they were just literally all level. We didn't have to use a, um, you know, tape measure each time, but looking good. So we'll get those installed up there. And we got four more in here. We'll be ready to rock and roll, hopefully. All right, so here we go, some more drilling. So I'm trying to use my leg up against it to kind of give some leverage and keep it straight. Here we go. All right, it's coming through. All right, guys, I got good news and bad news. The good news, I think we're pretty much through the wall. The bad news, as much as we measured and measured and measured, we actually drilled through, I think, the foundation of my house. Um, it's basically right at the carpet level. So I can actually pull this apart and I can stick my finger in the hole down here. So it didn't blow through here. So we're just gonna have to drill just a little bit further, probably about another inch. So that when we bring that conduit in, then we've got enough room to, to pull those cables up. So it definitely made a clean install, but it was a booger to drill through. So. We're gonna head back out there, feed the wires through um, and see what happens there. All right, so right now we're pulling all of the cables from the outside inside. Where are you at? So we've got four of the five cables Which routed. There you go, perfect, man, perfect. Look at there, there you go. Perfect. Hand it up here. All right, look at there, fifth wires through. All right, guys, we have officially Got her through the wall. Look at there. So cables come through the ground. Got it nice and tidy right there. Looks good. I'll get a vacuum cleaner, suck all that stuff up. Nice and clean install right near the ground. All right, so here we have the eight brackets installed. And those are just using some Tapcom screws like this right here. All right, guys, we're going to wrap up this video. I just want to share with you some things that, that we learned along this process that hopefully will help you if you decide to do something like this in your backyard living area. Number one, um, the spade work. Well, let me back up. Putting the edger down, using two blades together to carve like a trench was perfect to kind of cut across that grass. Then we used a spade like this. But the one thing we probably should have done is got a flat spade. This is kind of curved. So it definitely made it kind of weird when you put it down. It, it basically made these curves all through that groove. And so what we found is taking a hammer, 
flipping it around, using the teeth of that to kind of scrape through that. That worked out really, really well. Overall, the project really was very smooth. We didn't run into any hiccups. Um, it did start to rain like right as we blew through the, the final part of the house with the, um, the hammer drill. But other than that, I think everything turned out fantastic. Taking a look around, we've got our four um, brackets mounted on the left, four brackets mounted on the right. We've got all four of our rock speakers. We decided instead of putting two rock speakers over by the grill, um, honestly, it would be better, a better fit for my space to kind of space them out evenly. And that way, no matter where you're sitting at on my patio, you're gonna get good sound. And so we'll make some additional videos on how to hook all of this up, how to wire the, the eight speakers that are on the wall, because that's gonna be a little bit different than your typical wiring, because we're gonna wire those in, I think what we call series parallel. Um, so we'll do that in a future video. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I've got several more videos that we're gonna be doing as we wrap up this uh, fun project. I could not have done this without my good friends, um, John, Daniel, and Scott. Man, they were a huge help, and that's another big thing. Don't try to tackle something like this by yourself. Enlist some friends, enlist some neighbors, enlist your family. Get several people because there was a lot of times having multiple people working on even the same thing or even different parts just sped up the process. So hopefully this video has been helpful. Have a great week and we'll catch you in the next video.